Hi everyone, welcome to our second uh, webinar for uh, Wix Experts. Um, my name is Iran Kurz. Some of you may recognize me from Wix Code Forum or maybe Wix Facebook Group. For those of you who don't know, I'm leading the supporting community team of uh, Wix Code. Um, and what we're going to talk about today is how to use Wix Code uh, to create some cool design and functionality for your website view uh, on mobile. Um, just a reminder, the previous seminar we had, um, you had it done talking about collection and databases. We're going to use this as well. But first of all, I'm going to go through some basic coding stuff uh, so that everyone can be able to understand what I'm going to do next. Okay, so this is just a blank template. Uh, and I want, to, I want to introduce you to two new panels that we have in the editor. The first one is called Properties Panel. And this is how you get to it. Go to Tools. You open the properties panel, and now each component has its own properties. You can see that I can change this ID to be, uh, let's say, my text, and I can set this component to be hidden when the site is loaded or collapsed, and I can add event handlers uh, that adds behavior when this text is, go is going to be clicked or uh, hovered by the mouse. Um, so just for a quick uh, example, I'm going to set it to be hidden on load. I'm going to preview, nothing here. Okay. Um, what I want to do next, I want to add a button that when I click upon, it's just hiding and showing this text element. Now, as I mentioned, over here, I can set event handles, and I'm going to set a click for the button. And what I got popped up here, this is the second panel that I wanted to show you, and this is the code editor. This is a place for us to write uh, the code we want to our site. Um, so this button, I wanted to do two things. I wanted, oh, first of all, in order for us to uh, do something in the code editor, I'm going to use the $W API, which helps us grab elements. And I can use it. Um, and I can use it to change the text. Let's say my text. I'm going to preview, and when I click it, I have a load. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, this is the basic stuff, and now I'm going to add a repeater. I prepared, before the webinar, I prepared here a collection with database. And what I have in this database is uh, a bit of information about every, everyone here around me in the webinar, uh, which will be a good uh, chance for you guys to know us all. I'm going to add a repeater. This thing you know from the previous webinar. And I'm adding the repeater over here. Please forgive me, but my design skills are not very good. Um, and I'm going to give it a bit of width. Also some width over here. Over here. And as you saw in the previous webinar, I'm going to connect this repeater to the database. Connect to data, creating a data set, choosing webinar staff database, and hitting create. Now, the next thing, I'm going to connect each one of these elements. Let's connect this one to the title, where I had uh, the people's name. This one I'm going to connect to the job description. This one I'm going to connect to the bio. Click preview. Oh, forgot to connect the images. Preview, and there we are. So I'll take a moment to introduce everyone. Uh, Yechiam is the IT expert who made all of this happen. Uh, thank you, Yechiam. Uh, we have Doran here from my team, who is spending most of his days helping other users develop using Wix code. We have Idan, which is our marketing manager, and you already know him from the previous webinar. We have Lee, uh, which is the one who organized this whole uh, event for you. Uh, we have Dana over here, 
uh, which is from the community team and helps us uh, get in touch with you and uh, listen to you and tell you all of the cool stuff we're doing. And then there's me, uh, you already know my role. Um, other than that, I'm a really football, uh, football lover. And I'm sorry, Americans, I mean real football, the one that you use foot and the ball uh, to play. Okay, so going next, uh, what we saw here is just a repeater on the desktop view. And I'm going to publish the site. Let's see what we have. This looks okay. And now I want to see how it looks like using mobile. So I'm going to the developer tools. Click on the mobile view, I'm going to refresh the page. And this is what it's going to look like in mobile. Now, I mean, Yechiam is a really good looking person, but this picture is uh, probably too big for us. And there's a lot of data in here. And it also, also depends on the length of the text that we have. So we need to do something about it. I mean, this is not looking very good. I'm gonna go back to the editor and I'm gonna change some stuff. First of all, I'm gonna go to what you know well is the mobile editor and start to play around with my components in the repeater. Make this a bit smaller. This one. Move the job description here. Move the bio here. And the item much smaller than it used to be. Okay, let's publish it. Let's see what we have. So this is starting to look a bit better, but still I got a lot of text here and I'm not sure that, that I wanna show all of this. So as I, as I saw earlier, uh, as I told you, I'm going to use the properties panel to hide the text that I don't want to see. I'm going to start by hiding uh, this text, the bio text. I'll also take this uh, uh, opportunity to change its name to be bio.txt. I'm going to use it in code. I'm going to set it to be collapsed on load. Same thing for this one. This is job.txt. And this is also going to be collapsed on load. Let's publish it and have a look. Okay, um, this looks a bit better, uh, but I don't want to lose everything that I did for the desktop because then it will look like this when it's open on a desktop. So let's go do some code magic. I'm going to use code to detect whether the site is being viewed on mobile or desktop and, uh, and act accordingly. So first of all, I wanna add an event for my repeater, I'm choosing the repeater, opening its properties panel. And the event that I wanna use is item ready. Uh, this function is going to be executed as soon as an item gets populated uh, into the repeater. And in order to detect whether I'm on mobile or desktop, I'm going to use a Wix API that is called Wix window. I'm going to import it. And the basic of my code is going to be separated into two parts. I want to distinguish between desktop and everything else for now. Okay, so what I wanna do on desktop when, the, when this item is loaded. Um, if I detect that I'm, on, that I'm on desktop, I want to show the elements that I just made collapse. So, I'm going to use dollar W. I'm going to grab the job txt element and expand it, which is the opposite operation for collapse. Same thing I'm going to do for the bio text. And also, uh, so this is what's going to be uh, happening in desktop. Let's have a look. Okay, desktop is done. Now, what I wanna do in mobile, I want to add a cool functionality that shows me this text 
only when I click on the person's name. So I'm going to grab the element of the name. I'm going to go with uh, name txt, and I'm going to use code to dynamically add event listener for it. Um, only when I'm on mobile. I mean, if this code runs on the desktop, this one is going to run when I'm in mobile. So if I'm in mobile, I'm going, I want to grab the name txt element, set an on click handler for it. This is a function to be executed when it's clicked. And here, uh, I'm trying to decide whether I need to show or hide the, the elements that previously were hidden. So I'm going to put here a simple condition. This text is collapsed, then I want to extend it. Since I'm doing them both together, it's okay that I'll extend the second one here also. This is the Y. If this is now this is uh, this is what's going to happen if this text is not collapsed. So otherwise. This means that the text is shown, and what I want to do, I want to collapse it. Okay. Yes. What we have here, this is the desktop view. As you can see, desktop is working correct. And I'm going to change here to mobile view. Refresh the page. And now this is how it looks like on mobile. And now I can start testing my full functionality. I'm going to click here and I'm seeing the text. I'm going to click here again and it's collapsing. Let's see what the one is doing. Let's see what the done is doing. Here's the done now. I can also uh, keep them all together. I can also expand this code and add some functionality that will close everyone else when I'm uh, when I'm deciding to open just the dance um, and so forth. Um, that is all for now. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I did, and uh, see you on next webinar.